What a nice big room. Good evening, everybody. My name is Valentine Godard, and I'm uh, the founder and uh, executive director of AI Impact Alliance, a nonprofit founded in 2017 with the goal to study the different implications of AI through the arts and position the arts uh, in the seat of AI governance. The conversation I have tonight is six minutes of bad news and one minute of good news, so bear with me. I'm also going to maybe. <laughs> Overall context is who's going to get the biggest piece of the AI pie or who will get peace out of AI. Generative AI is projected to add up to $4.4 trillion in value to global economy each year. However, the International Monetary Fund warns that in advanced economies, about 60% of jobs may be impacted by generative AI and outcomes will include increases of income inequality. The International Labour Organization warns that left on its own, a digital economy would see women as the biggest losers. How many women do we have in the room? You can put your hands up. OK, thank you. That's us. <laughs> okay. um, or your sister, wife, mother, daughter. Uh, so I want to talk uh, very briefly about a patchwork of information that we're starting to get through different reports and research. And one of them is the spike of violence against women, racialized women, and otherwise marginalized women and non-binary persons in digital spaces where we are likely to be promoting our cultural creations, thought, leadership, and so on, which affects our health and potentially our revenues. Many say that AI simply reflects bias in society, but actually generative AI makes gender and racial discrimination worse. That's based on a very recent publication by Bloomberg in January. Maybe for some of these reasons, there's a growing polarization regarding AI art. As the rush to adopt AI in creative industries contrasts with the fear of a large number of arts and cultural professionals and workers. As AI integrates into tools of visual, in visual stories, movies, uh, new media, the underrepresentation of women in AI will, without proactive action, translate into a gender, gendered cultural erosion. And cultural erosion equates to erosion of democracy. Art is a living institution of democratic societies, and because the quality of democracy is determined by how much we can participate in these institutions, safeguarding the economic rights of all arts and cultural content creators is a matter of cultural security. I took a deep dive into these questions while creating the Algorithmic Frontiers exhibit that you're invited to uh, come and see during the, um, at, at the end of the show during the reception. And during the creation of those 12 art pieces, I was confronted with sexualized, objectifying content where I would input my own artwork and the variations that I would receive in return were very un unpleasant and sometimes even violent. I would input watercolors of beautiful black women and they would come out paler and paler, and if I added the word leader, they would become white men with blue eyes. Um, <laughs> if I put drawings of young girls, children, they would come out with one variation, no pants, boobs. Um, the sexualization of young girls in, in those variations is, is, is shocking and unpleasant. I did manage to make the 12 pieces pleasant, so I did create an exhibit in which you won't feel that violation. However, a lot of the making of videos do explain that process, so if you're curious about that, I invite you to come and have a look at it. Am I already at seven minutes? Holy smokes. That was not even my, okay, I'm gonna talk about the bad news now. Okay, artists are now being used as ammunition in an aggressive generative AI market which specifically in the military domain was, domain was estimated at 9.2 billion in 2023, expected to reach 38 billion by 2028. The arms race is causing increased global spending by developed countries to create legal autonomous weapon systems. 
I'm skipping, 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 because I'm sure you're wondering right now, what does military AI and AI art research creation have to do with each other? So I'm gonna give you a couple, of, one example, very concrete example, publication that was overtly explicit about why it was using caricatures to improve AI's ability to distinguish a human target with different facial features. The publication was just open about it. Now, that's not just in research and publications. There's a system called Lavender that is a target identification system currently used by the military in Gaza. And the excerpt, allow me to read a short excerpt from Radio Canada. The Israeli army identified tens of thousands of Gazan suspects using an AI targeting system with the human verification based on a permissive casualty policy. Officers are not required to independently review AI system assessments of those lists in order to save time and enable mass identification of human targets. Military leadership reportedly approved this two weeks into the war. There is now 25,000 estimated women and children who've died in Gaza since last October. User agreements, who has used OpenAI in the room? Everyone has tried ChatGPT, Dali, okay. OpenAI recently changed its policies to allow the use for military purposes. So we have to keep an eye on those user agreements. It's essential. My good news is coming. <laughs> so we've talked about artist economic rights, gendered rights. Um, I'm thrilled to announce tonight uh, that with the support of the Canada Council for the Arts, I will be launching a resource cluster on art, AI, law, and society. Uh, we will develop a platform aimed at seizing the opportunities that AI and generative AI in the arts and culture sector present while addressing its legal and economic um, implications. The goal is to offer foresight and respond to the imminent challenges presented by AI, inform AI policies and regulations independently from the tech sector's lobby, and promote the important role of the arts sector in democracy and cultural security. Now I'm at four minutes, I'm going down. Give <laughs> how long I've been talking now. So the other um, important element is we'll be adopting a gender sensitive, inter uh, gender sensitive intersectional perspective to counterbalance, to balance technological innovation and social um, justice. Um, we will be serving as a place of research and creation so artists can do and, and learn through paid residencies, workshops, and an annual conference. Um, I hope you can join me either at the, after during the reception to view the Algorithmic Frontiers um, exhibit, take it home with you. Uh, you can view it, debate it, breathe, start over again. Um, it's quite rich in material. And if in the room you're interested in uh, supporting the resource cluster, becoming a member, or sponsoring one of the, the, the workshops and the residencies, please uh, keep in touch with me. Thank you very much.